guys and welcome to my kitchen. Please ignore the dirty dishes in the background. Anyways, we are going to try something out with the pink fabric mats for a Cricut. Um, because these mats have to be treated a little bit different than, than all of the other typical mats. All the other mats, the uh, light grip, the regular, the strong grip mats, when they become so full of your paper um, fibers or, or whatever else and they lose their stickiness, to clean them you just need to bring them into the kitchen and use some, sorry I got a cold sore I'm trying to hide, um, use some warm water and soap and a small scrub brush and it washes them up. Problem is, is even doing that sometimes you lose your adhesive and you need to then, um, if your Cricut is more than a year old, you can use stuff like, I use, um, I wish I had one out here. I can't go get it because my grandson's sleeping in my crafter. Hence why we're doing the video in my kitchen. But I use Elmer's glue stick, repositionable. But if your machine is less than a year old, no, don't do that because it is going to mess up your warranty. You are going to have to suck it up and for the first year buy new mats when, when you need them. Um, because if not, yeah, you're not going to have any warranty coverage. Now, with that being said, the pink mats, you're not going to want to put them in the water. When you do that, like I said, you risk the chance of losing the adhesive on it. And I'm not sure, because I haven't tried yet, with re-sticking them, because once again, my, 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 the, my maker is fairly, you know, it's only a couple months old. So we're going to try out two different ways that I've come across on the internet and see if either one of them work. Um, I have no idea. I'm doing this right with you. And I do have an idea if you do need to restick when you can. Um, they do have the fabric spray for when you're quilting and that might work. So anyways, let's check this out. I'm going to try with just a good old piece of transfer tape and also one with some wipes. So I have a 12 by 24 mat. I'm just going to switch my camera around here. Okay, so I have my 12 by 24 mat. Um, as you can see, it's got a lot of green threads on it and whatnot. And I've got my piece of transfer tape. So I'm just going to pick a spot and I'm just going to put it on because picking all these little, you can't, you can't pick them. It's too hard. So let's see if this will pull them up. Well, mine didn't. Let's give it a rub. I know I've got my, Ugh, sorry, I had to get it off the table. I have a scrubber, so let's give it a rub and see what happens. And still not great. Maybe if I had the Cricut Strong Grip Map out here or Strong Transfer Tape, but yeah, my transfer tape. I'm even gonna cut right now. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna get another piece. And see if that's gonna make a difference. Just bear with me. I'm still here. I'm just unrolling. Brand new piece. Right off the roll. And we'll see if that works. That was a brand new piece. Or I think I thought it was. So let's give it one more try. See if this mat's still sticky. Maybe that's what it is. And oh, it's picking up tiny bits. 
So that didn't work. I'm going to try the third way I just thought of. Let me just get a wad of painter's tape. Get a little bit. Mine's not a thick painter's tape, so you're probably going to want to do this with a wider, a wider amount. Roll it up. Oh, it's got to be quick. My grandson's up. Roll it up, and then yes. And yes, if you keep at it, it's going to take a while, but it also took up some of. So that's a no-go. So let's do this. Let's go get the grandbaby. Okay. So now the next one we're going to try is just plain old simple baby wipes. So I'm going to get a baby wipe. And I'm just going to go right here. Let's move you just so you can see me a bit better. Right there. And there's a whole bunch of threads in that in this area. I hope you can... I hope you can see, maybe if I turn a better light on, you can see hopefully. So I'm just going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to go in circles lightly. I'm not pushing by any means and I'm going to have to rethink using baby wipes when I'm using my other mats because this is cleaning this up very nice. See. It's taken it off. So I'm just going to lightly take that off and get it clean. And I'm going to work on another spot while that one dries. And we'll see what happens in a moment. Just give that a couple minutes to dry. And then I'm going to check it with my hand and see how sticky it's become. So, for a mat that didn't look really too bad, a lot's come off it. Okay? And it's still wet. <laughs> but over here, I did it the other day, and it sticks. Let's see if we can get this to dry enough. Like I can feel the stick. It's just it's still wet. Here it's dry and it has a stick. So in my opinion, the baby wipes work. Like I said, this uh, it's not pick well, it's starting to as it dries. It's starting to get really sticky, but it needs to dry some more. It's actually, let's just wipe this area down too while I'm waiting. I'm going to do this very lightly because I don't want to be removing the adhesive. So I'm going to let that dry for a moment and I'll be right back. So now that it's dried, it sticks. So that would stick a piece of fabric. I'll go get one. So here I have some fabric. If you're interested in this fabric, this is from Cricut. Um, just use one of my links below. I'm going to put it where we had cleaned it, press it down, and 
that's holding it. You can even hear it when you pull it away. I don't know if you did, but yeah, that's sticking. So, baby wipes, good thing. So, as you can see, um, the idea of the transfer tape, no. Uh, the quick idea I had of the painter's tape, it could work, but it would take a long time, and it showed that it pulled off some of the adhesive on my mat. That's not good. But the baby wipes, lo and behold, I don't like using baby wipes for cleaning um, my, my paper mess. I know, I'm the oddball. Most people seem to love it. But using it for your fabric mats, perfect. Remember, keep your fabric mats away from the water. No. So until next time, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please, and like all my videos. And don't forget to drop by my Facebook page, Aunt Dice Crafts, and follow along. Uh, take care, guys. Happy crafting.